Yahweh, Barakat Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Racha Chodash, Double Honors to the Apostles, Bishops and Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the Elect. That's who these lessons are for. All right, brothers. Uh, now this is a throwback video of the High Priest Ariah and uh, the Apostle Tahar. All right, and um, the inspiration of this video is all the videos that have been put up. You know, dealing with uh, the Apostle Salakia, the High Priest Ariah. Well, we do believe he is the Apostle John also. Of uh, him being Joshua the high priest you know which I 100% believe that all right now I've never met the man all right all I know of the man is what I see you know on on camera him speaking and he's definitely on fire in the spirit you know certain classes that he taught you know I've watched those videos and um, learned from those videos um, also what the apostles you know you know the stories they tell us of them you know how they describe them you know so on and so forth man now when you go to the scripture Zechariah the third chapter it reads and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him and the Lord Yahweh said unto Satan the Lord rebuked thee O Satan, even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem, rebuke thee, is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood uh, before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him, and unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thine iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with change of raiment. And I said, Let them set a fair metre upon his head. So they set a fair metre upon his head and clothed him with garments. And the angel of the Lord stood by. Okay? And as you continue on reading, you know, it goes more into it. But this is speaking about one man who we believe the high priest Ariah is that man all right now when you go into the history you you had during the time of the children entering into the promised land this is numbers 14 and 30 it says doubtless ye shall not come into the land concerning which I swear to make you dwell therein, save Caleb, the son of Jephi, Onya, Jephina, Salakia, Jeff, Onya, Jephunia, and Joshua, the son of Nun. Okay, so these were the only two elders. All right, Caleb and Joshua. To enter into this land man it says but your little ones which he said should be a prey them will I bring in and they shall know the land which he have despised all right so this is going into the children of you know those those unbelievers which hey man this is the generation that is talking about man the generation where the Lord spoke you know the children man the children who are coming into this thing are the brothers in this truth man those are the same little ones that were back then that are going to enter in, into the land all right and our, our forefathers our, our fathers so on and so forth are the ones that didn't enter in because why because the scriptures tell you about unbelief man all right but if Joshua the high priest is back, then so, hey man, Caleb got to be back too. Which we know the name Caleb is Hebrew for dog. Now a dog is a lot of things, but a dog is loyal, man. You can kick a dog in the ass. And uh, the next second that dog 
it'll be right there you know trying to you know getting your good graces man all right now apostle tahar said you know a long time ago hey the heavenly father's looking for grunts man you know the lord don't want somebody that's easily offended because hey, amen offenses are gonna come man you know you see what i'm saying you know god's calling us you know oh oh you rape little girls and you know you know guys saying that we're, we're bumites and you know so on and so forth you know hey man all that's gonna come but hey man the point is that our, our forefathers did not enter into the land because of unbelief you know now this is um let me go right to the point this is uh, Hebrews 3 and 16. It says, For some, when they had heard, did provoke, howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. It says, But with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And that was our forefathers, man. All right? Which were the fathers of the children that entered into that land all right it says and to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest but to them that believe not all right you see what i'm saying so that's the question so you got to have faith man it reads so we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief and that's what it's about now, a lot of you brothers out there, you know, including myself, you know, I didn't told my moms so on and so forth about this truth. I mean, she still don't accept the truth to this very day, you know. So it's no coincidence. All right. It's no coincidence that. This is the time that we living in, man. You know, this is the time we. Hey, this is the time we 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 get into, man. We get we get into the time where the, where the children are once again gonna make it into the land. All right, you see what I'm saying? And the parents or or the fathers and mothers are not gonna enter in because of unbelief, man. Now now we know why the Lord refers unto us as little children. Matthews 10 and 42 and whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water in the name of a disciple verily I say unto you he shall in no wise lose his reward so who are the little ones is it talking about it's not actually talking about little kids all right it's not talking about little children it's talking about the elect man because those are the same little ones that believed and went into the promised land back then with Joshua and Caleb, man. Okay? This is John 13 and 13. Little children, yet a little while am I with you. Yet shall, it says, ye shall seek me. And as I said unto the Jews, whether I go, ye cannot come. So now I say unto you, a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as ye have loved, as I have loved you. It says that ye also love one another. But this, it says, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. All right, and that's one thing that we have, uh, one towards another is love, man. All right you see what i'm saying so the little children the lord is talking about are talking about the elect man all right which like i said the two elders that went into that land even moses couldn't go into the land moses saw the land but the heavenly father didn't allow him to go into the land because of something that he did wherein he didn't give glory to the heavenly father all right it reads, little children, yet a little while am I with you. Ye shall seek me, and as I said unto the Jews, whither I go, ye cannot come. 
So now I say unto you, all right? Now, in the book of Mark, Mark 10 and 14, but when Yahweh saw it, he was much displeased and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of the Most High. You see what I'm saying? And that was reminiscent going back to the book of Numbers when the Lord spoke about the little ones. But your little ones, which ye said shall be a prey, them will I bring in, that they shall know the land which ye have despised. Hey, so the same little ones have come back. All right? You see what I'm saying? And uh, the, the high priest, you know, Joshua is going to come back. And Caleb must be here. All right? Because we, we getting ready to enter into the land. All the prophecies are happening, you know, back to back. You know, America is getting ready to be destroyed, man. And Shiloh was getting ready to come. Which we know Shiloh, you know, means peaceable one. All right? Because he's the one that created that peace between us and the Heavenly Father. Once the Heavenly Father had turned his back on us. Now, you know, like the scriptures say, and whosoever believeth on him, has he given power unto them to become sons of the Heavenly Father? All right? You see what I'm saying? It says, Suffer the little children to come to me, come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of the Most High. And that's how we're supposed to be one towards another, knowing this truth, as little children. That's why the scriptures say, In understanding be men, but in malice be children. All right? It says, Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of the Most High as a little child, he shall not enter therein. So it's a thing of, of humility also. Okay? You see what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, man, if Joshua, the high priest, you know, is here, which whom we believe is high priest Ariah, then guess what? Caleb got to be here somewhere too. All right? Giving all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakaqab, Da'ash, Lord, world, this video is edifying. Shalom.